good evening and good afternoon to each and every one of you. I have just come up from my sick bed. I've been sick uh, for the last few days. And um, what a game. What a game. Uh, I didn't see the penalties. I thought I'm not going to watch the penalties, but what a game. And it was difficult, actually, at the end of 90 minutes. I thought, you know, Eve, Arsenal were, were not to, to be knocked out. All the players, all the players, including the manager, you'd probably say, you know, who could be, who could you choose as man of the match? But it was so very difficult. Arsenal overcome. No, 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 no. No, no. Arsenal stamped on FC Porto and kind of overcame them. <sighs> what a game. I think the game of the season so far, you know, irrespective of the games, you know, in the Premier League, this game tonight, was 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 a game and a half, so it's going to be difficult for me to die sick this because, like I said, I've just come with my, my sick bed, uh, haven't been uh, well over the last few days. But um, I've got to give kudos to uh, my good friend James Rowe, who I went to see. We met uh, in Central London yesterday evening with uh, with my wife, and he called it correct. You know, extra time penalties, Arsenal would uh, be Etihad. So James Rowe, if you're watching now. That was a good shout, and I, I think you put some money on that one as well. But um, uh, where do we start with this one? It's going to be a difficult one, very, very difficult. But as usual, we'll start with the, um, the team selection. Uh, this was the um, the team that, um, that Mikko Arteta put out. Uh, David Raya in goal. I'll get to him in a moment. Uh, back four with uh, Ben White, uh, CBs. Uh, Saliba, uh, Gabriel, and Kilhor. I'll get to him in a moment. And then in front of them was Jorginho in the center, Deca Rice, and Martin Erdegaard. And then front three of Kai Havertz, Trossard on the left, and Bukayo Saka on the right. So this was um, the 11. And boy, it was a strong 11. It was a strong 11. And I was thinking... My prediction was that FC Porto would score in the second leg, but they didn't. They had a couple of chances. Uh, Galeno had a couple of, well, maybe maybe half chances. But um, the strength of both teams, uh, and just looking at this spectacle as it was, it was, it was, for me, it was one of the best games, or one of the best games of the season, uh, insofar as how Arsenal played in the Champions League. And the 11 to a man they played exceptionally well now again it's going to be a short show because it's quite late here uh it's almost quarter past um, 11 so that was the 11 there and i've looked at Jorginho and, and, I, and i thought as much as he was kind of a kid and playing and you know you know feigning the injury i thought he controlled the midfield very very well there was some course for thomas party to come in and play that wasn't a game for Thomas Party. Thomas Party has just played a couple of minutes in a couple of games. It called for Jorginho. And the maestro, uh, you know, alongside him in, in uh, uh, Martin Odegaard, with that pinpoint of a pass through the, the, the back of the front three and Leonardo Trossard just, just timing his running so well and slotted it past the goalkeeper. I mean, do I have do I have it here? No, I don't. I don't. But that was was class it was class what a goal what a goal now i can fast forward uh to the penalties i didn't see the penalties there was um uh and mccoy was saying well if Mikko Arteta rates aaron ramsdale so highly then surely it would be the time to put him on for the penalties but we didn't see him did we we saw david raya Stay and go right until the 90 minutes, extra time, and then the penalties. And Arsenal eventually won 4 2 on penalties. But the, the, the game, it was, uh, oh my goodness, such a high quality game. So much so, both uh, managers got yellow cards. Mikko Arteta and Sergio uh, Conceição, Conceição Schau, um, they, they both got uh, yellow cards. But th this game, the quality, the level of quality, it was so high. And those of you who thought that FC Porto would have got blown away, they didn't. They are a good team. They're an excellent team. 
and uh, they made it very, very difficult. Set pieces, they stood firm. Corners, they, they stood firm. And Bukayo Saka really was well um, uh, uh, manhandled by Wendell, the youngster, the, the fullback on the left-hand side. Both fullbacks, you know, shut down the, 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 the attacks, all bar it, the, the pass, the quality pass by Martin Odegaard for Trossard to, to slot past the goalkeeper. Again, who who can you choose as, as man of the match? Who can you choose? I mean, you know, I, I try to... I just came up with some names, but it this performance called for every single player to turn up and for Arsenal to play to their strengths. Fast flowing, fast passing, and not be scared, be brave, be prepared. And all fronts, I've got to say, they they were they 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 met the task head on. They didn't look scared like they did in the first uh, leg. Um, they looked up for the task, and they sh they shut FC Porto out, and they got the job done. And that's what you want when you're playing at home. You know, it's a fairly still experienced team playing the Champions League. They've got only got a handful of players, uh, Kai Havertz, uh, Jorginho, and I'm thinking who's ever played, uh, Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko came on, you know, in the second half. Only a handful of players who have Champions League experience. And I think Mohamed El Nenny as well. But that's what it called for. Come off the hour, come off the man. Yeah, fortunes favour the brave. And I've got to say, Arsenal were very, very brave. Kudos to Mikel Arteta. Yeah, the fine margins, the fine margins. Again, I thought FC Porto would have scored a goal, then a couple of chances, and it was only a couple of chances. And I think at the end, with the uh, possession, maybe I think Arsenal were 52 to, to, to 48, I think. Probably got that percentage wrong. But the most important thing is Arsenal now march on to the quarters. And... Would it be Arsenal now to win it, win the Champions League before it changes format? Uh, we're, we're still a way off. We're still a way off. So what we're going to do and what we should do is celebrate this win tonight. I'm, I'm going to try. And, um, yeah, I just, just haven't been well over the last few days. But um, I'm not sure what else to say. Apart from, you know, the, the goalkeeper, David Raya. Well, well done, David Raya. Well, well done, fella. Again, I didn't see the penalties, but I saw that he's. I heard that he saved uh, two penalties. Come off the hour, come off the man. And there was a comment from uh, FC Porto a fan, I think last week, who said that um, that he's been, you know, reading some comments about Arsenal fans saying it's going to be a walkover and this that, and the other. And I thought he was quite measured in his comments. He was just saying, well, you know what? Um, my team, FC Porto, is a good team, but uh, Arsenal themselves, they've got to believe they can um, overcome FC Porto. I was thinking, wow, that coming from an FC Porto fan. But um, David Raya, he earned his call, didn't he? He earned his call. Uh, really good performance. But again, it was difficult for me to choose, you know, at least five players to be nominated for Man of the Match. All the players. I mean, even William Saliba, who had a slightly off night, got a yellow card. Um, but yeah, let's just actually go into that before I go into the live comments. Let's kind of you know refresh the page there. Uh, it's going to be a short show anyway. Um, let's see where we are. So I'll put these names up. I'll put Jorginho, uh, Erdegaard, Havertz, Trossard, and other player, because I couldn't think of anybody else. So Jorginho got zero percentage so far out of 19 votes. Erdegaard is from 63% of the votes. Um, Havertz and Trossard are tied on 11%. And other player, whoever that could be, is on 16% um, of the votes. Let me just kind of refresh it before I go into the live chat. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, it's changed just by 1%. Erdegaard still on 67 Habits and Trossard tied now on 10. And other player is uh, down 2% uh, percent to uh, 14%. Okay, let's go into um, the live chat and see what everyone is saying. 
Uh, we've got a moderator for the show, uh, Ashley, who says, uh, hey, up, Gunners, uh, yeah, get in there. See him war games, Richard, uh, that's what uh, we needed and I wanted. Uh, we won and uh, went through, so Arteta had to have got things right. Um, yeah, but like us, you know, <laughs> you would say, play to your strengths. And in the first leg, I, I just kind of got the feeling that um, we were trying to hold out for a draw. Play to your strengths. You know, take the fight to the opponent. When we do it in the, in the in the Premier League, so why would you want to change a formula that's helped you? You know, just play to your strengths. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, and, and he had to get things right. Uh, Matty seventeen oh one um, says congratulations Arsenal. Uh, they had to win. Uh, it's my birthday, uh, Ashley. Um, happy birthday to you, fella. Uh, I think you're eighty one. Or 79, I think. He's, how old are you? 69? 70? 79? <laughs> Barocoli, uh, I can uh, finally breathe again. That was a tense, but uh, penalties were perfect. I didn't see the penalties. I didn't want to watch the penalties. I thought, you know what? It's already late over here. My wife's sleeping. I'm not well. Let me do a short show. Let me just kind of concentrate on getting everything right here. And... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've got to say, my top lip was were perspiring, the tension. But I thought it was the quality of the game was of a high quality and worthy of any Champions League match. So, yeah. Um, Shika Baga, so I take it that I'm right then. You're in your 70s. I thought so. <laughs> so come in and let me know who was your man of the match. We're going to be going for another few more minutes, maybe three maybe five more minutes. Uh, we're going to call it uh, quits. It's uh, 22 minutes after the 11 uh, p.m. over here. And um, I haven't been well uh, for the last few days anyway. So come in, let me know who was your chosen man of the match. I thought it was a difficult one because to a man each and every player, Kiervo, Kai Havertz, uh, even though you pushed uh, Sergio Conte Sal, uh, Saka, even though he had a difficult night, William Saliba, Gabriel, Gabriel Jesus, when he came on, had a chance to score. Um, uh, just thinking who else? I mean, Martin, he didn't play. Trossard, is it could, could he be man of the match? Because without his goal, I mean, we wouldn't, but they, I don't know who, who was man of the match for you. Uh, and in saying that, let's refresh the page and see where we are with this. Um, 29 votes and uh, so Erdegaard I guess it's easy for people to vote for Martin Erdegaard he's now on 69% of the votes Habits on 10% Trossard 7% other player including Mikel Arteta is stuck on 40% and Jorginho is on 0% of the votes um, so Arsenal uh, now um, trudge on now and um yeah, kudos to uh, James Rowe who called it. He called it, and I thought, no, I, I, I thought FC Porto would have scored. Um, great defensively, um, fluffed their lines. Had a, I mean, had a couple of half chances to be honest. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's have a look here. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, come on, come in live chat. Let me know who was your man of the match. Who was your man of the match on this um, this night of, of um, oops, there we go. Uh, so Arsenal go through and they win 4-2 on penalties. As I understand it, there were two penalties saved, not missed, by uh, David Raya. And this was the 11. Yeah, and if I had to pick a man of the match, I would have gone for um, Jorginho. Declan Rice um, lost his core a little bit. Uh, but, yeah. Yes. Okay, I take it there's not going to be any, any more comments. Come on, come on, come on. I wanted to know your thoughts about the game. Um who was your man of the match? Okay, so uh, as she said that, yeah, it will go for uh, Raya. 
Uh, but isn't that an easy one? Because why not go for Trossard? Because he scored that goal. I mean, even from that angle, he had a lot to do. He had to pass the ball, pass. Because I think he didn't go through Pepe's legs. He went past his leg and down to the goalkeeper's left into the corner. But then what about the assist from Erdegaard? But it, it for me, it's difficult to choose a, one person from out of the match. This was a team effort. A team effort. I kept us in uh, a couple of times, and then uh, the pressure of the penalties. Okay, uh, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Uh, any other takers, any other players, um, you would probably say um, man of the match. <coughs> that was uh, very tough for Arsenal, but Arsenal won. Uh, yes. Um, Ibrahim... A girl who's a very ready get uh, man of the match uh, about time uh, he got it. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, and I guess to some sense now, those people who are calling for Ramzo to be recalled. I mean, I know he played, you know, in the week there. And I, I, and again, he made the mistake, isn't it? Brentford to score their goal. But um, Mikko Arteta, I think, got this right. David Ray in goal. He got it right. So... And Benjamin uh, says, I can finally sleep uh, with shoes. <laughs> what? what? With shoes? Uh, because Raya uh, has made me happy. Oh, all right. Okay, that's an interesting one. <laughs> uh, yeah, Raya, a couple of important saves uh, during the first half. And uh, the penalty save, Saka, was cancelled out. Yes. Uh, Trossard, uh, a close second. Well, uh, Birok, I hope you have gone over and voted. Uh, but actually, I didn't even put I didn't put Raya as a potential man of the match because for me, I find it very, very I find it very, very difficult to choose one. Okay, just a few more minutes, people, before we wrap up this one. Uh, historic night, at least for uh, Miko Arteta and this uh, team uh, overcoming FC Porto, who have won the Champions League twice. Uh, squad of, of winners. Um, with a goal in the first half, an assist, a quality assist from Martin Odegaard, laid on for Trossard. And then, of course, like you say, uh, David Raya coming to the rescue for the penalties, for, going through 4-2 on penalties. There's your man. There's your man, the save, the saves and the penalties. Like I said, the commentary that I was listening to, Alan McCoy was saying that, well, if Mikko Arteta rates Rams are so high, you know, surely he, he should make the change now. But he didn't. He stuck with Raya. And Raya uh, has paid him back. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. So I, to be honest, I've not much, more, not, not got much more to say than this. Um, I can see the numbers of viewers uh, rising. If you want to come in uh, to the live chat before I wrap up this one, because it is quite late here, uh, I haven't been well um, over the last few days. Um, I was supposed to do an instant post game reaction for the Brentford game. I couldn't do it because I was so sick. And um, although I did try to go to work this morning. I had to come back because I've, I've been feeling well and I thought, oh my goodness, well, I did say I was going to do an instant post game reaction for this game. It went to extra time, went to penalties, and here we are, 11.30, almost one minute before the hour of 11 p.m. in the UK. Uh, I've also agreed at Arteta's decision over signing Kai Havertz and Rice. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, um, I don't want to bring a downer. It's not a moment or a show to talk about negativity. Let's keep it positive. Let's just talk about the positivity from this game. Um, Kai Havertz, Declan Rice, like I said, Declan Rice had a, a little bit of a difficult evening. Uh, got tested quite a few times for his temperament. Almost lost his call. And almost Kai Havertz as well. And uh, it took a captain to lead those players out from the possibility, you know, of losing their heads. 
So I guess maybe Martin Odegaard could have been the man of the match. Yeah, could be. And uh, B. Rock Holly says, uh, bring on City. City. Right, okay. Do you know what? Um, I think I think we 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 have finished. We have finished here. Um, so um, that is it. Um, Arsenal beat FC Porto, score in the second leg, right to the penalties, where it was a performance that required all the players to turn up, all the players to be prepared, and play as a team from the beginning right to the end, and that's exactly what they did right uh we've come to an end uh thank you uh, to you for listening to me over here um there is no easy talk uh this uh friday um there will be no other shows uh, i believe no there's no other shows i'm just trying to remind myself no well i won't be doing any other shows anyway this week so this is going to be the only show this week and um yeah, so let's enjoy it. Uh, sit back, relax. I don't know, whatever you're going to eat or drink, but um, Arsenal are through. Could Arsenal win this last format of the Champions League? We're not there yet. Are we there yet? We're not there yet. This has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.